All right. Awesome. We have our world. This does not look like a bad spot. Let's go ahead and uh, open up our map. Oh, wow. We got some water. All right. So first things first, I got my map open. I go, I went ahead and uh, open it up so that way I can uh, I can I can see everything with the map uh, Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inventory and I'm going to move my map to my uh, To my free hand so this way I Can actually have my whole inventory slots my whole all my slots open uh, my hot bar That almost looks like it's turning dark. Oh, no, okay sun's just rising. That's good. All right, so what do we have over there? I have no idea. So first things first, let's go ahead and get us some wood. We need to make sure that we can have we can make some sticks. Alrighty. Oh, we got a few sticks already. What do we have? Oh, these are oak trees. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a few more. Just because it's it's nice to have a little bit of extra wood. So now, like I said, I'm on survival. And I'm on normal. So, monsters... I do believe are going to spawn tonight. If I remember correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my inventory. I'm going to make some oak planks. And then I'm going to craft a crafting table. Alright. And now I want to find... Place. Oh, here we go. Awesome. I have a an underground area. I don't have to worry about mobs spawning just yet. So what I'm doing is I'm looking. I gotta turn this light off real quick. That so way I can see. I'm looking for coal. I think yeah, that looks like coal. So let's go ahead and set this down. Now we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a wooden pickaxe so I can get that coal. Now the coal, which is great, is that I can make uh, torches so that way I can see while I'm in underground. Now, unfortunately, a wooden pickaxe is not so great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a few stone. I think it's only three stone. Alright. Let's go ahead and I have cobblestone. So, I need to make a stone pickaxe. So, I like to go... All right, so make some planks, make some sticks. All right, here we go, a stone pickaxe. And let's go ahead and make a bunch of, uh, a few torches. There we go, light up the area. So that way we can be safe down here for, for a moment. Now what I'm doing is I'm also looking to see, oops, I didn't mean to put two of those down. I want to see if there's any iron anywhere. But I'm also lighting up the area so this way I don't have anything creeping up on me if it happens to turn nighttime. Oh, look at that. I got a bunch of coal. So let's go ahead and uh, get more of this coal and you can pick it a lot faster now. There we 
we go. Got a bunch of that coal. Any more coal over here? Nope. So, well, the good thing about one of the prior updates recently, well, a few months ago, was that you're, you can just make one of the, you can put a torch down, and you don't even have to put dozens of torches down anymore to, to spawn proof your area. Which is very helpful. And it's windy out. You know, I'm going to grab my torches and I'm going to get out of here. I think. Yeah, let me grab a few more stone. You know what? I'm not going to worry about the torches. I'll leave them here. Because I'll try to remember about them later. But I do want this though. Uh, you know what? I have stone. I have wood. Let's make a sword. A stone sword. This way, we can still be safe. Do, 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 do. Take your time. All right. Oh, we got copper. Uh... Cannot really see down there per se. I see a bunch of coal right there. Wow, that's a lot of coal actually. Doesn't seem like a bad area actually. What I'd like to do. Is possibly see if there's a village somewhere close by oh that's i know what that is now wow yeah it's it's been a while for me to play that over that over there is a um a ruined portal a ruined nether portal all right let's see what we have i'm gonna need food uh, let me get some food. Uh, also, when you're in survival mode, you have to be very careful with your... with your um, running and your jumping. Because if you're not careful, you will die of hunger. And to kill these... The animal easier you can um you can actually you, you jump jump and slash and it'll have a better chance a uh, better critical kill all right what else oh there's another piggy no don't run away from me please <laughs> got it. All right, so I think I got what seven pieces of pork chop. I like to make a fire. Uh, what was? Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Oh, there's a sheep. There's some wool. Looking to see if there's any more wool, any more sheep. See, I, I like to try to keep it simple with having my map in my hand, so this way I can always know how to get back when I need to. Oh, I found another sheep. No, that's a wolf. 
I had already hit him one time. I was like, uh, I'm gonna die if I don't if I don't get rid of him. Uh oh. See, I'm I can't really move now, right? So that means my hunger is uh extremely low. And now monsters are gonna be spawning. I'm trying to keep a nice little big little area to keep them at bay because they will spawn and come chase me. All right, I'd like to make a I need did I use up all my coal? No, I did not. Oh, I know why it's not popping up. Because I need to pull up my crafting table now. So, I should be able to make a... Uh, I might be able to make a campfire. Yep, I can make a campfire. I just need a few extra uh, sticks. Now, the reason why a campfire is so great, especially at the beginning... Uh, you can always make a, you can make a, uh, an oven, um, not an oven, sorry, a furnace, but you can also just place your pork chop. You can pl place your meat, the, the pork chop, the, uh, the chicken, the food that you're going to eat. You can actually place it right on top of the uh, um, campfire and see how it's it's cooking it. You don't want to eat raw pork chop or raw chicken. I mean, you can, but you don't want to. Now, the thing is, like, these will actually pop off when they're done. They'll pop off completely on their own. Like that. Yes, sir. Uh, my stream microphone is on the computer, and the microphone that I'm talking to you right now is on my head, on the phone. Yeah. I know. Um. No, you're, you hear it. Only you hear that. Because you're connected. Because you're watching the stream and you're on the Discord. <laughs> exactly so see you can do this with all the type of food even uh, even salmon the cod everything like that it's it, it's it's great uh you just ah see i burned myself so hey look at that i just put myself in the water and uh yeah i'm no longer on fire i have one piece of wool I'm just waiting for this to cook. And, um, I'm looking around to make sure nothing's going to spawn, so this way I'm not dying. Uh, at the same time, I can actually make myself a stone axe. This way I can get some more wood. And i'll go ahead and get myself a stone shovel as well just in case don't forget to pick up the food that you uh that you cooked all right so i like to have my inventory a certain way per se sword pickaxe 
axe, shovel, and torch. There we go. Now I got all my weapons. Uh, I'd like to make a shield, but I can't make a shield right now because I don't have iron yet. Um, I'm too close to the shore, so maybe I can cut a bunch of this wood. Hopefully I don't get nothing spawning next to me while I'm uh, cutting trees. Because I'm thinking about making a little uh, halfway shelter right here. Unfortunately, I don't have any wool. I've only got the one thing of wool, so. Yeah, I, I believe it turned nighttime really fast on this world. And don't forget, your trees drop saplings. So if you if you need to grow more trees around, you can always make more trees. All right. So what I'll do is make a bunch of these. Yep. There we go. All right. And that's just something simple. Thought I heard a zombie. Darn it. <laughs> Something simple. We don't need these edges. The corners, due to the fact that, that way we don't uh, waste waste our, uh, our wood. At least I, at least I don't like to waste it. That's a nice little bungalow. We'll put the entrance right here. Yeah, that sounds good. Go ahead and put a few more, uh, blocks down. Now I'm uh, building this so this way I can uh, have a nice little shelter because I plan on going uh, underground to start a uh, the, get a mining area basically. Even though um, that one area was good, but. I just don't want to have to run back over there. Plus, I got a nice little thing going on right here. So. It's just a really easy house. Nothing too fancy. Something simple. See, that's easy peasy. Go ahead and put ourselves a nice little window or two. Go here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a door. Like so. And then let's make a I still have what I do. Um let's make a few sticks. And then we can put some oak fences as our windows. This way, little baby zombies can't just jump in here. See that? Easy peasy. Just like that. Looks nice. Now you can decorate the floor, get rid of the grass. 
but I'm not too concerned about it. I'm going to take my crafting table and I'm going to go ahead and lay that over here on the ground. Just like that. And now I need to remove this torch. Put my torches. Actually, I don't even need that torch there. All right, just like so. And now, ah, sorry. I'm so used to my, um, I'm so used to a, uh, uh an upgraded, shell, uh, upgraded tools. So. So I just, uh, like to go and do a little circular form, uh, form, um, you go down below like so I like to go one step at a time this way it's yeah just like that so it's gonna be three wide by three three by three by three just like one two three Obviously, I don't have to keep counting it. See, this is... If you don't have those caves... Like, well... We do have them. Uh, I need more torches. That's another thing, is... You need to make sure these are lit up. Especially with the... Uh, being on the difficulty we're on. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just making myself a, um, a little mining area um, because I didn't um, really want to stay over by that area. So I just, this is one of the normal things I like to do. I don't know. It's just, you can always build close to it and everything I'm curious is it daylight out oh, I might want to put a torch here oh ain't nothing spawns in here that would be something else I come back all of a sudden boom <laughs> a creeper all right, it's daylight. All right, so. All right, I have an idea. All right, so our home. So this is like a, a thing I like to do for myself. This way I know where my, where my my bungalow is I go ahead and well I'd write my uh, my coordinates down on on something so in this case I put it in my chat so this way I know where I'm going even though I have my map it doesn't show me where my bungalow is oh look there's sugarcane this is great for paper And I can actually grow it by my house, by my bungalow, whatever. Maybe I can find another sheep. I found another pig. Let's see. I'm also trying to see if there's a village nearby. Ooh, there's lava over there, though. Again. Good for feathers. Uh, let 
me go ahead and bring where's my cooked pork chop? There it is. Oh, there's bees. They got a beehive over there somewhere. Don't want to mess with them. Oh, all right, so let's go ahead and crouch and look down here. See, I'm not going to fall, which is great. But it's like it's, it's the stalagmite. Oh, 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 wait, what's on there? Nice. I wonder, can I go down? Oh, wow, look at all that uh, coal right there. Oh, wow. This map is actually pretty nice. There's a sheep. Some mutton. I see another chicken. I want some uh, feathers. Trying to see if there's also a village. Thinking that might be, but. But running away, buddy. Hmm. There's a horse, but I don't have a saddle. Horrible. If I get a saddle, I can go ahead and uh, use the horse. Which would be nice. Alright, so we got that. I kind of wish I would have brought my uh, crafting table. But you know what though? It's really simple to make a crafting table. And I'm about Oh wow. Oh see, look at that. There's a zombie down there. I see him. I don't know if you saw him right over there. There's cows. Could always use some uh beef. That's always nice. <laughs> Might want to use my sword. Is it really? I like beef. Where's the beef? That's a glow squid. That's always nice to have, actually. Did I kill him? I think I did. Awesome. Yeah, that's a glow squid. They're, uh... They're rather defensive. Alright, I needed to make, uh... I forgot what I wanted to make. Crafting table, that's right. Because, uh, I need to make a bed. So, there we go. We got that. We got that. Take this off, off, off. We should be able to make a bed with... There. A white bed. And we can actually... Let's go ahead and make red dye and make a black bed. Think. Nice little bed. Now, I'm going to keep that in my inventory and in my hotspot until I get closer to my home, basically. Um, right now, I just want to see what I have around. And then I'll put the coordinate down if I find a village. Right now, I don't find, I don't see one. Oh, 
Ooh, it's a nice little cave area. Don't want to fall down there. That might actually hurt. Looking for this village because it's really going to be helpful. If there's a village, those things are super helpful because they have, they already have uh, farms already created. Where's the sun? There's the sun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let me go to sleep. There we go. So I like to go to uh so on this on this note I I took I got rid of my bed, right? Well you want to make sure you you don't you gotta make sure you're not going to die. If you die and your bed, the last bed you slept in, isn't, isn't available. You're going to spawn right at the main spawn where you first started the map. So you always want to make sure that if you're going to be doing stuff like this, you carry a map with you. Oh, see, look. There's beehive. I can't grab it because I need shears. In order to have shears, I need to have iron. See, if you notice, I'm staying on my map so that way I can still look at. I can look at everything as well. Ah, I didn't make the jump. That hurt. I want to see. There we go. This is a big forest. Got spruce over there. I'm not a fancy of birch. My daughter absolutely loves it, but you know what though? That's it's an acquired taste for birch, in my opinion. A lot of people like it. I just don't I don't fancy it. I really don't fancy it, unfortunately. So be careful when you're doing all this job. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and feed myself all the way. So then, now, you'll notice my hearts are starting to go back up. See, they were right there in the middle. And they take longer to to uh, go up. So there it is. More damage you do, uh, the more damage you do to yourself. Yeah, it's... No village over there. Ooh. Oh, this is nice to see. So, this may not be a village over here. But, I see netherite. Netherrack, sorry. Netherrack. All this is netherrack. This is from the nether. That's a gold block. Those are always nice to have. This is lava. You don't want to, um... Yeah. So... I'm going to use my cobblestone to block this all off. Oops. 
So, these are magma cubes. <laughs> if you stand on it, they hurt you. But if you crouch, they don't hurt you at all. And you can actually get rid of those. Same thing with the uh, with the the normal blocks. See, all that lava is already gone now. See, now I'm doing this because I want to see. Sometimes they will hide a. Oh my goodness, this is. It only needs one more block, and that's this one. I can't break it. I need a diamond pickaxe to to break it. Wow, that's nice. This might actually be a portal that I that is that I'd be willing to use. All right, where's the chest? Did I then miss the chest? Ah, oh, there it is. So, all right, so we got a golden axe with sharpness three. That's always nice. We got some iron nuggets, flint. Golden boots, flint and steel. Uh, what do we not need? We don't need this. We don't need that or this or the or the dirt. Golden boots protection one, fire protection one. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go with protection one, and you know I'll bring both of them just because. Golden apple, flint and steel. That's always good to have. And I cannot remember. I do not believe I know. I think you need to have an iron pickaxe to take out this this gold block. I don't want to hit it with my stone pickaxe. Is like I said, I really don't think you can hit it with your stone pickaxe and actually get it uh, that it'll actually drop this is killing me because there's one block here and you can go right on this spot right here ah uh, okay no biggie deal where are we going uh no village that way so we're going this way oh look at that we have a drowned come here buddy there you go it killed him and i just got some experience for it yay all right so one thing i'm gonna do is take my iron that i had iron and make them into ingots yes now I have two iron ingots. So I should be able to make a sword now. Uh, I need to put some more stuff away. <laughs> I'd rather have an iron sword. But what do we need? Oh. Let me go ahead and put on our protection boots. All right, we'll go ahead and put the seeds in here because those are you can always get those. I don't need the oak saplings. I want the feathers. Get rid of that. All right. So now let's go ahead. Oh, we can get ourselves some shears. Hmm. I think I want an iron sword, though. But. Ooh, I can make some arrows. I want some arrows, though. That's for darn sure.
All right, let's go ahead and make an iron sword. Yeah. All right, that away, no, that away. That, no. Put our iron sword here, and then we're gonna need to make another pickaxe here soon. All right, so if you notice that on the top left of my over my hearts, I have little shield things. That is showing what I have for armor now. Because, if you notice, I have boots on now. Bro, oh, we have another cow. See how with a sword with an iron sword it's one hit now for the cows in comparison to the two hits for the cows. Ah, I can't kill the baby. If I kill the baby, he doesn't give me anything anyway, so what's the point in killing the baby? Kind of messed up to think like that, but in Minecraft, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Oh, if you also notice, I've been getting some, uh, some, uh, leather, which is this piece. That I can make books with it. Uh-oh, sun's starting to set. I really don't want monsters spawning right now. Not yet. Come on. I'd like to go to sleep. The only reason I would want any monsters spawning is the string. And that's going to be from spiders. Oh. All right. Let's continue on our journey. We're going to go this away. Alright, see? I like to see if there's the caves like this and everything every so often. Not really a good cave. But, uh, yeah, and that's the sound of my first broken tool. <sighs> I knew it was going to happen. Do I have... I should have enough. So what I'm looking for is I need to make another pickaxe. And my pickaxe is here. And so far, it seems like there's no village on this, in this area. Oh, 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 there's pumpkins. That's always nice. You don't need them. They don't really do much for you. But you can actually use shears and gut them. You can get the pumpkin seeds and make a bunch of other pumpkins. Pumpkins are good to trade with villagers to get emeralds. It's an easy way to get emeralds. This place is awesome looking. I really enjoy this map. Um... The only thing I'm not enjoying is the fact that I'm, I can't find a villager camp. 
Watch my luck. I'm going to find a, um, what's it called? Uh, first, a, uh, uh, uh pillager outpost, which is the bad guys. They have uh, crossbows, and their their aim is quite true. So I, I, yeah, I want to just see what this map is like, as well as find this villager camp. Jeez, if there is one. That's one heck of a drop. But at least there's water down below, so you can't really die. I see my health. <laughs> see, if you notice the map, it's got the brown, right? That's part of the map I have not been on. Um, so that's the only reason why I know which direction I'm going and everything. There's a wolf. There's a wolf, but I don't see any spruce trees. Quite interesting, actually. Yeah, in survival, your bed is your friend. Food is your friend. Uh, if you notice, like, the first things I've been having is food. Um, my hearts are getting low. I don't know why. I haven't, get, I haven't been getting hurt. I, I mean, they have, your hearts, you get hearts back when your, when your hunger is all the way full. So let's go ahead and oh no no not raw mutton. So salmon only gives you a few bars. Ah, uh, there we go. Cooked mutton, cooked mutton or lamb gives you a few bars as well. And that was ridiculous. That glitched out like crazy. It wound up uh, eating a lot more uh, mutton than it should have. Now, if I just sit here and just wait, my hearts will get back up. I think I might have to move my uh, my webcam for later on. Because it's blocking my map. I do apologize. Alright, let's go this way. Oh. 
All right, so it seems like we're not going to find a village on this map. Well, I mean, let me rephrase that on, on my map that's in my hand. All right, so let's go ahead and find a nice little area. I'm thinking I see lava over here. All right. Ah, lava's right here. I don't want to step on that stuff because that's uh that's gravel. No, that's actually stone. Um kind of a I kind of actually like this area a bit. Because I, I, I started over in that direction. I want to check out this other uh, portal. Oh, look at that. I've, uh, uh, I'm slow again. Dude, once you start going slow, uh, how did I eat two pieces already? Uh, is that? Uh, there's a drowned zombie over there. Uh, dolphins. Up, 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 up. Oh, no, no, no. You got to try to... No, no, no. Get away from me. Get away. <laughs> I don't have that type of protection yet. <laughs> Not yet. He's got, he, was, he was about ready to throw that trident at me. Chest plate, leggings, obsidian, blast protection, projectile protection. You know what? Let's get the blast protection. Because... Bam. Bam. We just need a helmet now. And we have that obsidian... Where I can make that one portal active. How awesome is that? And... Everything's gonna start spawning now. Shoot. No big deal. So we'll go over here. Oh, oh look, the skeleton. Yeah. Did he drop a bow? No, he dropped a bone. Ah. Oh. There's a creeper. There's an enderman. So, see, with these, you gotta hit them and then bounce away from them. The creepers. Before they, uh... Before they explode. And there's an enderman over there. I don't know if I want to deal with him yet. Where'd that skeleton go? There's more lava over here? 
Or is this the same lava? Ah, uh, no, this is the same lava, isn't it? It is the same lava. Ah! Oh. <laughs> that startled me! <laughs> that startled me. Oh, I did not see that spider creeping up behind me. Alright, so let's place our bed here. And we'll go to sleep. Alright, so... That portal is all the way down there. You know what? Even though I like this area, I want to have the portal close by. So, let's go ahead and shimmy that way. If you look at the map, it's going to be that direction. This way we can also deal with those, uh, what's it called? Um, the, the brown in the center. Maybe, maybe there's a village in the center area. I don't remember seeing one. Well, who's to say that the trees aren't not covering the village area? It's a possibility. Plus, this is a nice, easy way to uh, get the map all cleared up for us. There's another beehive. Wow. There's so many beehives in this one. Oh. Oh, no. I made him mad. I made him mad. <laughs> right? Did I make him mad? I didn't hear him buzz. Alright, so I, 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 we're probably good. You don't want to hit, you don't want to make the bees angry. Because they will not stop attacking you. You know, this is not a bad looking area actually right here. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do some type of, I don't know, farmland type style. I don't, I'm hungry again. Uh-oh. I don't have any cooked meat. Okay, too easy. Put this down. We got ourselves up. All right. This actually is not a bad area. What do you think, Mikey? It's actually pretty open, isn't it? Or do you think I should look for uh, uh look at that area that's over yonder? towards the east I'm thinking go more east a little bit what do you think
I'm just trying to get the, some of this meat cooked. So this way I don't have to worry about it later. You know, so let's keep this as a potential. All right. Uh, potential home zone. How about that? So let's go with three, seven, four, 65, five, zero, four. All right. All right, I think we have enough. Uh, I don't want to chop this because if I chop this, uh, I'm going to have to make another one. Yeah. Thought so. All right, so... We'll go a bit more this away. The reason why I'm liking this is like it's so open. This nice plains area. Wow, that's actually pretty cool looking. And it doesn't seem to be too far from the uh, uh, from this portal. Two same company trucks going the same speed. Taking up the left and right lane. Uh, let me take a uh, Swift. No, same. Uh, some tinkers. Oh. Uh, EWT, probably. Twit. No, I'm thinking. Maybe I can cut someone down. I don't want to have to cut down so many trees, though. I mean, I'm going to have to cut down trees. Twit, TWT. Okay. <laughs> I know my companies, don't I? So, we're going to take this obsidian and place it here. And now, watch this. We have flint and steel, and we can light this bad boy up. Looky, looky. All right. <laughs> Let me do a real quick thing. And that is... Let me put some of these things uh, away in this chest. Because I don't want to lose everything. Just saying. But yeah, that is a good map. Alright, I don't want to lose certain things. So, black wool, I don't care. Gunpowder. Oh, you know what? I have more wood, don't I? I don't have any more wood. I need more wood. I need more wood! <clears throat> it's not a bad map, it isn't. It's, it's actually quite nice. I just wish I had a little bit, um, 
I could find a village. Which I could find a village if I go on a certain website. There we go. If I go on a certain website, you know what? I'm going to bring my stone sword, not my iron sword. So there's a reason why I'm putting all this stuff away. So this way, if I die in the nether, I have all my stuff. See now, if you notice, it said respawn point set. So, I, I'm not going to bed right now. The sun is just setting now, but I, I'm going into the nether. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my map in there as well. All right, this is where it gets tricky. It all depends on where they, where it puts me out on. The good thing is I have gold armor on, so Nothing will attack me besides the ghasts. Well, unless I take certain things like this. This is uh, nether quartz. It's good to get fast experience. Or quick experience, sorry. Now here in the nether, if you don't know... It'll be really easy that uh you'll be very wary because you can open a block and lava will just start flowing out now this place is a maze you have to be you have to remember how you got to certain places Normally, I haven't seen any of this pigmen, thankfully. Normally, they would be freaking out right now and start attacking me because I'm taking their gold. Even though it's not necessarily their gold. You go in that portal, better go back to the same portal and not get lost. <laughs> yeah yeah definitely So the cool thing about this is that you can actually hit this fire away. Just like so. How do I know? Ask me. <laughs> Uh, you're fine, man. It happens to people. It happens a lot more often than you think it does. Heck, I've had, uh, I've had my kids and my uh on our realm 
Be like, hey, uh, can, can you can you jump online and help us find our way back? <laughs> Basically, they forgot to, to write the portal down, to write the number of the portal down, which I forgot as well. But I'm actually pretty good at remembering it most of the time, um, where it's located, that is. See? There it is right there. But, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, another portal. Got 86. 84. 93. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the outside. There's a gas. And that is concrete. Or, sorry, gravel. Right? Or is it soul sand? Can't tell. I think it's soul sand. <laughs> Got him. You know what? Uh, I need to make something as my path. Where's the hole? There it is. See? I, not me. Ah, uh, I still have not picked up a bow. So, I don't know if I'm going to like this, uh, this nether. I got, I've got the soul sand valley. No way. I think I am actually going to like this. That's a bastion right there. 
No way. That is awesome. That thing has a bunch of treasure chests in it. Aww, how to get down there. Why do I hear like kids in the background? You hear kids in the background? Are you probably hear the the gas? <laughs> like a like a crying sound or whatever. Is that what you hear? <laughs> yeah, that's the ghasts. Those those are the big white blocks that you saw flying around in the air. How to get up there? <laughs> Have you ever saw that before that build? Um have I ever seen um, a bastion? Well, in creative mode, uh, never really. And I've I've seen it in survival. Oh no! But I was also on peaceful. Die, jeez! I was in peaceful mode when I seen it, and there was no enemies. The only reason why I knew what it was is because I seen a bunch of that uh, pig, uh, pigment uh, standing on it. So two and two together. You know what I mean? All right. So um. Okay, I thought it was something they had put in the game and you never seen before. No, I'm just excited to see it because it's right there. It's, you never, you always have to search far and wide for it. Alright, so I think... Um... I think I need to definitely um alright so this portal is yeah the map is pretty cool um welcome to the chat room <laughs> um but there's that spruce area too that's the tiger areas over that way yeah. let's check out that area real quick see what that's all about Let's swap out my bed for the gold nuggets. You know what? Let's let's leave a bunch of stuff over here. We'll come back because we have to come grab grab the rest of this stuff anyways. Uh I need to make Yeah, this map is really not that bad. Um I just got to look more and more for the, um, I need to look more for a, uh, 
what's it called? Village. And I think, honestly, I think I'll actually go on, uh, on the internet and, and find that for us because it will be on a website called, uh, chunk base and it's, it's for, it's for this game. So you can find specific things. Um, which would be really nice to have. Absolutely. And we went with what zero four two seven two zero two two. All right, we're on bedrock one point eighteen. Did I pick up the meat? I did. Uh, let me put my bed down just in case. <laughs> That's all I need. Where is the sun setting anyways? So the easy way to find out where the sun sets is put it close to the edge of your, uh, of your screen like so. And then you see how it's slowly moving towards the screen to the edge. All you know that way is west. Or you can also if you have a map on if you have your map in your hand. Ah. If you have your map in your hand like I do, then it's it's just as easy. All right, so oops. So we're gonna put our coordinates where we're at currently: six forty-one and seven ninety-seven. And we're gonna go ahead and hit go, and that's gonna show us where the closest village is. Oh, wow. It's not that far, actually. So, it's actually that way. So, what we'll do is we'll get up, get our, uh, our pork, our beef cooked up. And get our health up. And we'll go check out the village. And we can see maybe we want to stay at the village instead. Um, whereas all we would have to do at that point is... Um, well, protect the village. Which we could do that. Um, we don't want any uh, mobs to spawn there. So we can just protect the village by putting a bunch of uh, fence up. But... We want to check it out when it's when it's light out, which yeah, because we don't want to go over there yet. If we go there now, when it's when it's hitting dark, um, the zombies and the monsters will spawn over there while we're while we're trying to get over there. Um. I'm just trying to get rid of some uh, certain things on this thing so that way I can see the specific ones we want to see instead. Um, and my internet is, is it lagging out for you guys? I hope it's not too bad. Alright. Oh, actually there's a that's a plains village. We might actually go to that one instead then.
but it's Oh, it's over by Jagged Peaks and everything. You know what? We might actually go to this one instead. And it's uh, it's got a birch forest, though. Ew. There's another one. So I think we'll go to go to this one. So let me write it down in the chat, which was... 1400 negative 216 all right so this way uh it's not lagging out the game and everything um if you notice my health is going down even though i'm not doing anything so we're gonna go ahead and put this nether quartz in there let's put all that in there and then is it ready to now you know what Let's brave it out, right? Yeah, let's brave it. We got food. We have food. We have weapons. We have a coordinate to go to. Let's do this. Never wrong to get more more beef darn it oh. do i have any torches I do not have any torches. I do now. So we're going to negative 1400. I'm sorry, 1400 and then negative 216. Oh, there's a creeper. Run. <laughs> Creeper's already out. Time to try to take to the trees. They don't spawn up on leaves. Now, mind you, they can climb up here, though. They can jump on the uh, blocks like I can. Just like me. Uh, We need to go that away. You know what, on that note, let's go ahead and go to sleep now. I don't want to... Darn it, I can't place it. Where is the... There it is. It won't let me place it. Why not? There we go. 
<laughs> avoid. You never showed me how to avoid that. What am I supposed to avoid? Avoid what? The creeper? How about avoiding the creeper there, sir? The villagers. Uh, you don't want to avoid the villagers. Oh, this is so... No, no, it's not nice. Not nice. Get out of there. <laughs> you don't want to avoid villagers. You want to go to the villagers. Or do you mean the... Um, the pillagers? Or the P... Oh, wow. This place is just so beautiful. Uh-oh. The people that kill you. Uh, those are pillagers. With a papa. P. Yeah, those are pillagers. Well, uh... We haven't seen them yet. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, I can show you what they what where they are and everything, but but without a shield, it is not advisable to go messing with them without a shield. <laughs> Because you can't even protect yourself at that point. Right now, I can't. I, the only thing I can do is is stab, and that's that's the only type of defense I have. Actually, that's more offense than anything. Shucks. Mm. Oh, that's a nice tree. No, no, don't fall. Oh, of course, I fell. Mm. Darn it. Missed it. Zombie villagers. Oh, no, no, that's not a zombie villager. That's just a zombie. Ah, look at that. Uh, those two are fighting each other. Ah, aha. Oh, I didn't get his bow. Are you serious? Uh-oh. See? 
Not only do they spawn, they don't just spawn in the nighttime, they spawn in the dark, even in the daylight. These are, these are zombies. What in the world? Why am I glitching out? Jeez. Oh, this is dark forest. Yes. Very nice. If you know, well, it looks like there's no pig loads for tomorrow. Oh, nice. Looks like it's another ham. Right? Oh, geez, look at this place. It is big forest. Oh, this is cool. It's our, it was meant to be. All right, I'm going to get up high and then I'm going <laughs> to get my health back up. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> I bet you're super excited. Maybe. Alright, so... I gotta go to 1400, negative 216. I still need to go that way. At, oh, oh! Do my eyes deceive me? Right there. There's the villagers. That's the villagers. Not the pillagers, but the villagers. And they have stuff in their chests. Yes, there's a saddle. A saddle is good for getting a horse. See, look, they already have a farm basically established. And there's some villagers here. What do y'all worry? What's down there? Oh, there's the other part of the village. That is going to make them go to their homes. <laughs> because then I can make them safe by blocking their rooms up so that way they don't they don't get attacked. Blast furnace. What are you doing now? Uh, right now, I'm in the village trying to see what type of items they have that I can, well, take. Uh, if they have anything worth, uh, taking. Oh, that's an iron golem. If you didn't know that.
You know, there's so many villagers. I might actually use this place. As my uh, villager breeding ground. There are so many villagers here. Why are you in bed? Uh, that's not good. That's not good. It's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. <laughs> time now. Time to go to bed. There we go. <laughs> time to go to bed. If I don't go to bed, the zombies are going to start spawning. And then they're going to start taking out my villagers. Yeah, but right now I'm looking... Trying to find anything that's worth taking. How the heck? Son of a gun. Um, because I can also make these villagers have jobs and work for me. Photographer table. Ooh, paper. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I got a map of this place. A map of the village. That's actually a pretty big village. Did I already look at this house? I don't remember. A nitwit is not worth having. Nitwits are useless. What's the paper good for? Paper? is good to make your fireworks uh so you can fly so you can make books to uh for uh for your upgrades they're not needed I don't want nitwits here. I just have a bad feeling that an iron golem is going to try to attack me. If he tries to attack me, I'm, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> well. You can always... You can kill uh, an iron golem. It takes uh, a lot of effort to kill him now it's time to feed myself jeez i forgot how much food you go through on survival Totally forgot about how much food you go through. See that? That, that zombie wanted to go for the villager. Because they're coming from over here. Wow! That's a massive cave. That is so cool looking. So you can go zoom zoom. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can go zoom zoom.
<laughs> I'm sorry, it's, I'm still cracking up because of the zoom zoom. Is that? Oh, no, I already went to that one. Wow, that's a massive cave. It, yeah, it is actually. I'm impressed with how oh, with how big how big the cave is. <laughs> Honestly, there's a way that I can protect all my villagers, and I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to protect this village. So. So, I'll show you a way to protect the villagers. It's easy, easy, easy deal, uh, ordeal. It just takes a few blocks like so. Is that glass? That is glass. That's glass. Alright, so they got glass. That's good. So, if you notice, there was a few villagers in here. So they're locked in. I didn't see one there. I didn't see one there. I need to find a way to go up top. Back up top. Uh, there's baby villagers. Why are you guys lost? Hmm. Come on, you gentlemen. Wasn't there another one over here? No. Alright, so... Alright. I'm just eating some bread real quick. I don't think there was anybody in here. There was not. They cannot go up ladders. Hi. How you doing? Oh, we're up high enough that this is snowing right here. Was there, uh, no, there was no one there. I want to hit the bell so that way it makes everybody go to their homes. Where's the bell? Uh, it's up top. Okay. He's not even trying to bother with me. Yay! Don't come at me like that, bro. Mm -mm. Let's not do that, bro. <laughs> Please, no. Let's not and say we did. Alright, everybody should still be in their homes. Alright, 
right, so the plan now is I'm going to protect this village. All right, we have a plan, but it's it's basically going to be a selfish uh, defense. It's uh, that way I can well give them all a job uh, by working as uh, by doing um they need to get me some iron so once I yeah that's see I'm blocking these doors because if I don't block them if I put this on hard mode the zombies will start breaking the doors down just to get to the villagers because they can Got to see if there's any other villagers that are out and about. I think I just saw one. Ah, shucks. No, I wanted, I wanted some string from him. All right, no villager. No villager. There's one right there. Is he not going to his home? That's odd. right there okay <laughs> sorry villager go to your home unless this is his home No, 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 go back in there. <laughs> no reason to come out. It's not quite safe. Not quite safe, people. No! Why did he run out? Where, where'd he go? How in the world did you get over here? Ah, uh, these guys are ridiculous.
<laughs> Jeez, sometimes. Just sometimes. Stay there, stay there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so. I do believe that is all the villagers. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. So there's a bunch of paper, right? So let's go grab that paper out of the cartographer's uh, out of the cartographer's um, uh, chest, and I'll show you what we can do with that. Unfortunately. Uh, you know what? I can't. Oh, was I not high? Oh, he got on that block. <laughs> he got on that block and that's what was able to hit me and guess what guess where I'm gonna spawn I spawn at the original spawn point because I have my bed on my person So, so that's what you don't want to do. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and quit that for right now. Um, I kind of got sidetracked to what I was trying to do. Uh, I wanted to save the villagers so this way I could use them at a later time uh i was going to start building uh around by there okay um i'll probably go on to it again uh some other time but i just wanted to show you at least the beginning part of how to survive and that uh, well the iron golem hit me one time. Yay! <laughs> um, but I believe it's time for me to start going to bed anyways. Um, hope you guys... Uh, oh! Uh, if you guys are... If there's anybody on the channel. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Which is going to be Throwback Thursday. So it's going to be Retro Game Night. Uh, I have a bunch of Sega classics that I'm going to play tomorrow. Um, as long as I have time and everything. So, uh, with that being said, I'd like to bid you all uh, adieu. And y'all have yourself a good night. And this is Gamer Bear Dad signing out. Bye-bye.